What up, guys? It's the Shave Lion King, man. And I'm back today, man. I'm back today out here chilling on a wonderful, beautiful day today on the lake. I'm out here hanging out, getting some things off my mind. And you know what? I want to talk about something, man. I want to talk about something really important, man. Okay. Because you guys all know that I'm currently on a six month semen retention journey. Okay. Six months. That means I haven't released a drop of my semen. Okay. Not a drop. I haven't watched any pornography. Okay. That's been over five years now. Um, I don't masturbate. Okay. I don't do anything that's going to give me any kind of, you know, negative, perverted thoughts, you know, that might make my energy travel down, okay? Because what I want to do, what my object is to do, is to convert this energy, okay? To convert this energy into an evolutionary goal for myself, okay? I wanna be the best of the best. I wanna be a leader. I wanna be intelligent. I wanna be the 1% man. And the only way that you're gonna get these things out of life, they're just not gonna to come to you, okay? You got to put in the effort and you got to want to be great. You got to dare to be great, man. And this is what semen retention and Brahma Acharya, Brahmacharya, okay? This is what it brings to you when you're practicing it. Now, I want to talk to you guys about something that I was thinking about. I was thinking about how our society is so highly sexualized, okay? And how you can't go anywhere. I mean, literally, guys, you guys can't, we can't go anywhere in today's society, bro. Okay? Without seeing some kind of sexual temptation. We all know this is facts. We all know this is the truth. What we also can't deny is the ejaculation. Okay? The ejaculation, all right, of our sexual energy is conditioned by society. Okay, it's conditioned by society, man. And I want you guys to think about all of these things that I'm about to talk about. You know, it's crazy, okay? It's crazy to think about how everything that we watched, okay, growing up, okay, all the influences that we have seen on the tell lies to our vision, okay? All the influence that we've seen have showed us one thing that they want us to be in our lower selves they want us to be walking around lusting full of low vibrational energy all right so we'll stay in this frequency so every single thing that they're pushing out there as far as the agenda on tv or through society we will be susceptible of okay and this is where you get that. This is where this ejaculation <laughs> is conditioned by society. And like I said, it's everywhere you go, okay? And then you think about how you watched when you used to watch the pornography or when you watched the pornography, what is happening in this pornography, okay? What is happening in this pornography, bro? Every single time you watch this pornography, there's always got to be the man always finishing and releasing his energy okay and we all know we all know how special a man's energy is how special his semen is how much energy it takes to build and regenerate this energy yet society pushes us to do this and to release this in this manner okay you watch on these pornography videos and, and, this, and this porn and this internet trash all these guys always 
releasing at the end of scene, every single one of these scenes. And it just makes you wonder. It makes you ponder, ponder why? why? What is the big deal of making the man always have to ejaculate at the end of these scenes? Okay? I read an article. Okay? I read an article not too long ago. And in the article, they were pressing for men to ejaculate 21 times a month. Okay? 21 times a month to clear themselves from possible prostate cancer in the future. Now, this is the point I want to get at, man. Okay? This is the point I want to get at. All right? There is so much mis and dis disinformation out there. This is the reason why I practice what I preach. I'm one of these people who experiment and, and, and I'm my own doctor. I do things on my own so I can learn. That way I don't fall into the traps that they have out here in society, okay? Because they're literally telling you to deplete yourself to the highest level, okay? We all know, okay, we've all discussed exactly every single time that you release this fluid semen out of your body exactly how bad you are depleting yourself especially if you're uh, uh you know an average person all right who is not very healthy all right who might have you know some health issues this is going to go against you so bad okay this is going to ruin your immune system, okay? This is going to make you age much faster, okay? This is gonna make you gray much faster. This is going to make your hair fall out and recede much faster. Everything that the minerals and the vitamins and the nutrients in your body would be there for to enhance you, to rebuild you, to regenerate you, are now being expelled out of your body at a rapid rate therefore it'll be just a matter of time before your aging process settles in so they push us to release this energy okay they push us and they know that the average person out here has no clue to the magnitude of what they're doing or they don't even have a clue of how to regenerate everything they've just lost okay i don't know a ton of people that have the the money to eat as well as you need to eat to support one ejaculation a day let alone people who are doing it five to six seven eight ten nine ten times a day okay you're gonna put yourself in an early grave man all right all for pleasure all right and it's not worth it. It just isn't worth it, okay? You got to stop letting society tell us. Stop letting society push you, okay? Push you in the direction that they want you to go, which is <laughs> down, in a downward spiral, okay? Confusion, depression. So you end up in the system, all right, on pharmaceutical drugs, seeking the help of these people who are not going to help you when all you had to do was go inside yourself and understand that you, you control your destiny. You control what happens to you. You control how you feel, okay? And if we're telling you that pornography and masturbation and orgasm and all these different things lead to depression... Okay, and we already know what other things come with depression, then you should be taking every single word that we're taking seriously. You should be taking every single word here seriously. Okay? And that's the truth. All right. So I got to ask you guys this. All right. It isn't just men who are affected. Okay? It isn't just men who are affected. Women can be affected by the same thing, you guys, all right? Women can be affected by the same thing, all right? They can be, get hooked on pornography and masturbation, okay? And they can be releasing their sexual energy, all right? And their lives can go in a dour spiral as well, all right? 
So this applies to both sides. I just want you guys to know that, okay? It applies to both sides, all right? And another important thing about this ejaculation that society pushes is what this is going to end up doing to you guys is it's going to end up making you be a person who is going to suffer from pre premature ejaculation okay even possibly erectile dysfunction all right you're going to end up getting with a female later on in your life or sometime and you're just not going to be able to perform okay you've done messed up the natural flow and rhythm of things down there all right and now you are going to be suffering okay you're going to be suffering from only lasting a couple of minutes three four minutes with the female okay that's a whole nother level of depression that you've not yet discovered okay all of this stems from one thing touching yourself beating your meat watching pornography okay this is what all these things come from guys this is why it's so important all right every man every man should at least practice 30 days of brahmacharya aka semen retention okay at least 30 days and then at the end of that 30 days you can give yourself a, a quiz you can give yourself an observation and you can decide if you want to take it further how do you feel did the benefits actually did you get any benefits all right did your life change around okay we're, we're, anything and everything that you discover you pick it up and you remember it because these are going to be your benefits okay every man should do this for 30 days bro. it should be a must all right and then we won't have these problems that we're having continuously in society okay we'll have a bunch of strong alpha men walking around here confident all right confident in their abilities confident in who they are society in a whole will be cleaned up we'll have a get rid of all these low vibrational thinkers okay these people who are you know sitting at home self-indulging in things that are ruining their lives all of that will change with 30 days of semen retention i promise you guys just 30 days your life will change you will start kicking out all of those things that are negative all of those things that once <laughs> kept you down in that low vibrational frequency i'm telling you you start to drop all of them okay this is the power this is the power of brahmacharya this is the power of semen retention